One of our favorite parts about full-time travel is that we have no roots. We come and go as we please, staying at all sorts of different places. And we've been lucky enough to stay in some pretty cool places, like a cottage in the jungle, an Airbnb with a sauna, and even on floating bungalows. But we've never stayed in one of those trendy capsule hotels that seem to be popping up everywhere. So we've booked the night at a capsule hotel outside the Kuala Lumpur airport. And we're taking you along with us. because tomorrow we have a flight to catch. But tonight we are staying in a very unique accommodation, but more on that later. Now that we have our tickets, time to go get some lunch. seconds and then our driver decided to stop and pick up a pack of smokes and use the restroom and get a snack. This is gonna be a long few hours. <laughs> outside the airport so now we gotta figure out a way to get out of here and then we'll get a grab to our hotel it's a pretty cool spot oh this way can we get on the magic carpet yeah that's our guy oh slow message <laughs> thank you thank you very much So this is our hotel for the night. It is a capsule hotel. We rented two capsules for 12 hours. It says be silent when we go in, I guess because people just come and rent out a pod um, for a few hours when they have delays. Oh, looks oh. like the guy wants to see you in. Let's go. All right. Twenty-two. Okay, you're below me. Yeah. I'll be your upstairs neighbor for the evening. Sounds good. Don't be too loud. <laughs> Are there lights? Yeah. Up, up, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Insert card for power. Yes. You touch uh, the red light. You see the this small one? one? <laughs> yes. <gasps> it's wow. like a spaceship. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we're alone in our pods. And unfortunately, I have to be a little negative, but this is really dirty in here. Like, the sheets have, like, marks on them, and, like, my pillow has, like, drool marks. Like, it's been slept on. Um, it just doesn't look very clean in here. So my stuff is cleaner than yours, but I wouldn't call it, like, fresh and clean. Yikes. All right, so aside from the linens, you obviously get this. They have a communal bathroom area with like showers, that kind of stuff. When you check in, they give you a towel, which actually smells fairly fresh and looks clean, so that's good. Um, they give you a little shampoo thing, a little soap, and then a blanket. It smells clean, but because of the oh. Anyway, this is oh. Right here, you have a mirror light that you can turn on and off, sleep mode, oh, turns everything off. Oh, I up. I don't know how 
<laughs> I don't know, I'm new oh, here. Okay. Got it. There is a power socket over here. An air outlet here, which you can turn on, which is cool. Headphone jack, a USB, a do not disturb, and a reading light. That's about it. You look like you're all moved in down here. As moved in as I can be. I'm just gonna treat this like when we were on the overnight train in Thailand. Got a little downstairs pod. Um, my stuff here, it'll be okay. Time for a quick bathroom tour. You got a little hole in the ground. So this is it, home for the night. We are gonna go get some dinner soon. There's a couple spots nearby and meet up with a really cool guy. His name is Daryl from Wander Eats. Chat with him a little bit about food and that video will be over on his channel. We'll link to it below, but uh, yeah, this is it. I can't tell you how nice it is to be with someone who knows what they're talking about when they order. I feel like every time we order, people are like, are you sure you want that? You want this or that? He knows, so this is great. And this is Daryl, by the way, from Wonder Eats. Hi. And uh, gonna be uh, chatting with him about a whole bunch of cold topics. For reference, this is my face. This is the knot. Much larger than my face. <laughs> this is the roti tissue. This is the roti. Roti tissue. Yeah, it looks like a tissue. Not non. Clearly, I am out of my element. This is roti tissue. Roti tissue. The month of confusion continues. Yes. Very <laughs> modest piece. We ordered a bunch of different dishes and got to try some very tasty Malaysian food. <laughs> Overall, we had an awesome night with Daryl and it was the perfect way to spend our last night in Malaysia. So now we are back at our little capsule for the night. Gotta brush our teeth, maybe jump in the shower and then time to get some Z's before our flight. Nice to sleep I've ever had. We did it. We survived the night. We'll be off to the airport in just a little bit. I think I maybe slept like two hours last night, but it'll be okay. It's not a long flight today. We are gonna get dressed and ready and then we'll be off to the airport. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. It was really nice meeting you. Yeah. Welcome to you. Great to meet you, sir. Thank you. Guys, our crab driver was the nicest guy in the whole world. We were the first Americans he had ever met. And that was really just reflective of our time here in Malaysia. Just incredibly friendly and welcoming people. So that was a fitting way to come to the airport. The hospitality of the people here in Malaysia has been incredible. But now, sadly, it is time for us to end our time here in Malaysia by catching a flight to another country. But if you want to see where we're going, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button and check it out in the next video. See you next time, guys. How do you say roti tissue? Like tissue paper? Oh, that's Thank cool. You. Well, this thing is a work of art. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, definitely not the Ritz Carlton, but that's okay. 
it would also appear that this is a bring your own toilet paper facility. So B-Y-O-T, unless you want to use a bidet. I don't judge if you do.